Welcome back to Swapfire Strategies and Tactics. Today we'll be covering some of Swapfire's less familiar game types, starting with Control Point. There are several control points on the map denoted by spinning holographic cylinders. In order to score, players must physically occupy a control point and then tag another player. The control point will change to the color of the player who just scored, but the player who was just swapped will have an instant chance to steal that very same control point. When capturing a control point, try swapping with players who are already in or very close to another control point to save some space time. Steal control points, especially from whomever appears to be in the lead. Keep the shield power-up active until you are absolutely ready to fire and tag an opponent. That's it for Control Point. Now let's talk about Fine Buddy, the giant scavenger hunt through a Chinese ghost city, where players must locate their own colored swap buddy and then swap with it to win. Many times this mode involves luck of the draw, as the swap buddies are randomly placed. Nevertheless, there are certain strategies and tactics that can curve the win in your direction. Use the speed power-up to move across the city quickly and discover swap buddies before your opponents. Use the jump power-up to scale buildings that might have your buddy, or just to get a better vantage point. Use the zoom power-up from atop buildings to get a really great view of the city. Place a swap bomb near an opponent's swap buddy and activate it when they get close. Screen cheating is encouraged. Speaking of which, always be watching your opponent's screens to see if they come across your buddy. This way, your search time is divided by four. That's it for Fine Buddy, but we've still got more strategies and tactics coming your way with Rally Point, an extremely fast-paced arena shooting gallery. Players race to the point markers on the floor. Locate an opponent, shoot and score. There is no upper bound to the points that can be scored in this mode, unlike Control Point. The Swap Fire logo in the center of the Rally Point Arena is worth 100 points. Using the Lighthouse technique whilst on the 50s or 25s is good for noobs, but makes you an easy target. People may swap you off the edge. There is a single random power up the top of the map, above the lighting assembly that can be reached using the green jump pads. Swap bombs can be a more effective way to swap frantically moving opponents. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Swapfire Strategies and Tactics. We'll be back again soon with another episode to talk about Swapfire's last three game types and their associated strategies and tactics. Until then, be ever mindful of your space time.